This episode is presented by Denny's. Order your diner faves at denny's.com today. From the company that's perpetually the new hotness, in the sense that they're always having to put out fires, and the gold hoarding goblin that rules it all, comes another entry in their long-standing franchise that really doesn't change a single thing at all. I mean, come on, we all know that this is just the anime filler episode until the next Modern Warfare. Call of Duty, Vanguard. Dive into the bullet fest that is Call of Duty, a franchise that's basically the worn piece of duct tape holding Activision together at this point, as Activision revisits the peanut butter and jelly of human conflict, World War II. Then revel in their extremely loose interpretation of it, with remote control RC bombs, personal radar, laser sight, and camo skins? As they try to fit the usual Call of Duty stuff into a World War II themed Halloween costume. Though arguing the historical accuracy of a Call of Duty game is like complaining about the authenticity of a gas station hot dog, sometimes you just shove it in your mouth and hope for the best. Discover the horrors of war in the single player mode, as Vanguard follows a crack team of allied soldiers that find themselves in prison after a botched job which also happens to be the location of the last bastion of the Third Reich, as they attempt to escape and complete their mission, all while under the watchful eye of Nazi Hobbit Mary, which makes the torture scenes really hard to take seriously. Then watch as the characters leap into action by sitting in prison and reminiscing about their war achievements as you jump into various battles of the World War for about five minutes for character backstory that mostly just tells you that they're good at shooting things, in a single player mode that feels like you're watching a cutscene about half the time, and then wraps up in about a total of five hours, making the story feel like it's moved past being a glorified tutorial and onto just being a platform to convince you to buy skins. You know, I'm just not going to be that interested in characters that look like they were Google stock photos of soldiers. Jump into the gauntlet that is the Call of Duty multiplayer featuring a bevy of brand new modes and maps that will have you shedding lives like a winter coat as you try to navigate the winding tunnels and barns of wholly unfamiliar terrain as you contend with more destructible environments, which basically just means you can now get murked through a doorway wall or other cover, potentially adding a whole new dimension to how you would usually play these games, which ultimately won't save you from the traditional Call of Duty dude that jumps around like a shotgun-toting rabbit hopped up on meth. Then watch a ridiculous play of the game of someone firing their gun like an out-of-control snake and give merits to people that don't care enough to change their win animation. In a multiplayer experience that tries to shake things up the only way Activision knows how, extremely slowly and incrementally. Meaning this game is basically still the same thing you've been playing for decades. A formula so old that it's just around the corner from wrapping into novelty again. At this point having someone call you a slur in a COD lobby is kind of nostalgic. Slay the murderous Nazis a second time in the updated Zombies mode that takes away the standard horde mode structure for a roguelite format, emphasis on the light, as you warp to one of exactly three map types to complete video games' most boilerplate objectives and run around collecting perks and upgrades to hopefully survive the next couple of waves until you get to the later levels and your gun becomes as effective as peeing into a California wildfire. Then weep as your teammates die one by one and you're slowly enclosed by the growing mob till you can do nothing but watch yourself get pummeled to death in a zombies ass zombie mode that doesn't do anything particularly special except maybe remove most of the weird fun secrets. Even though they swear they're adding that later, you guys, they promise. For an experience that somehow manages to be the most generic of all the already generic things in this game. Yeah, I guess they used all the zombie celebrity budget on lawsuits this year. But how much does a Van Damme cameo cost? I mean, really. So get ready to open fire and open that wallet for another yearly tax on the college students, stoners, and adult children of America, many of whom will have more fun getting angry on forums about the game than actually playing it. Starring Pippin Longstock and Barrel, Attack the Reich, Generic McGenericson, Crocodile Dundee's Nuts, Hobbitler, and your mom. So funny, I forgot to laugh. Yeah, kind of like your mom's panties in my drawer. For God's sake, Battlefield Fiverr. Regardless of whether or not we like the game, I hope we all recognize the real Call of Duty, giving Bobby Cody the finger if we all see him in public. 
This episode is presented by Denny's. Get all your Denny's Diner favorites whenever and wherever with a new digital ordering experience at Denny's.com or download the Denny's mobile app today. See you at Denny's. Stop blaming your own incompetence on cosmic forces. The side of good isn't weak, it's you. There was supposed to be a joke or reference here, but I rolled a three on intelligence. Please, Scooby-Doo this crap.